Good day everyone, this is Mrs. Ellie Jane Ruedas, your math teacher facilitator for today. We will be discussing Math 7, Week 8, Quarter 1. Our next topic is about the set of integers. So, last time nakapag-discuss na tayo anang tungkol sa integers. So, ire-recall lang natin. So, for today, objectives the learner arrange real numbers in increasing or decreasing order so pag sinabi natin increasing pataas pag sinabi naman natin decreasing from largest to smallest so before we proceed let's have first a short recall Write each of the following sets using the raster method. So, pag sinabi natin raster method, ito yung tinatawag nating listing method. For number one, the set of natural numbers less than four. So, these are one, two, and three. So, the elements are one, two, and three. Bakit one, two, and three lang? Bakit walang zero at walang negative? Kasi ang hiningi lang naman sa atin ay set of natural numbers. And remember that natural numbers are all positive and counting numbers. How about number two? The set of full numbers less than five. Ayan. So, ano ba yung mga whole numbers? Siyempre, doon na nag-start tayo na zero. So, we have zero, one, 2, 3, and 4. Number 3, the set of integers greater than 4 but less than 8. So, what are the numbers greater than 4? We have 5, 6, and 7. So, uh, mataas kay 4 pero hindi lalampas kay 8. Next, we have the set of whole numbers between so, what are the numbers between 3 and 7? We have 4, 5, and 6. And then the last one, the set of integers from negative 7 to positive 7. So, these are, yeah, so negative 7, negative 6, 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, kung natatandaan nyo yung ating number line, madali lang sa inyo mag-identify na. Okay, next. Now, let's proceed. Ano nga ulit si integers? Integers is a set of numbers which consists of positive numbers, zero, and negative numbers. It is the union of the set of whole numbers and negative numbers. To illustrate the, um, the integers, we will be using a number line. Again, a number line includes 0, a positive number, and a negative number. So, kung titignan nyo, pakitandaan po, ang ating origin ay 0, and then to the right are positive numbers, and then to the left, are negative numbers. So, 0 ang ating uh, origin. So, dito din tayo mag-start ng ating mga 1. So, 1 to the right and then 1 to the left. Ito lang yung ating tatandaan sa integers. As the number goes to the right, the number keeps increasing. So, pag sinabi ko, what are the numbers greater than 4? but less than 8. So, ito yon. So, titingnan natin yung nasa right niya kasi increasing, yung mas mataas. So, we have 5, 6, and 7. Now, as the number goes to the left, numbers keep decreasing. Again, as the number goes to the left, the numbers keep decreasing. Sabihin, the more napapunta ang Ang number to the left in the number line, it means mas mababa ang kanyang value. So, if I ask you to compare negative 4 to positive 2, of course, which is greater. So, syempre, dahil mas nasa kanan si 2, so, siya yung 
mas malaki ang value. Unlike negative 4. Now, is, which is greater? Is it negative 4 or negative 1? So, dito na between the two negative numbers, negative 4 and negative 1, at dahil sa number line natin ay to the right ang negative 1, ibig sabihin mas malaki ang value niya kesa kay negative 4. Questions? Okay, now let's proceed. Which is greater? Negative 16? Or negative 11? Of course, dahil mas to the right si negative 11, mas malaki siya kesa, mas mataas ang value niya kesa kay negative 16. Next. Which has the smallest value? Negative 2 third, 1 or negative one half. So, syempre, si negative two-third, kasi negative two-third is, is equal to 0 0.66, while negative one-half is 0 0.5. Okay. How about what integer is 6 units to the left of 1. So, we will be using a number line. So, nasan ba si 1? So, from point 1, so, magbibilang tayo ng 6 units to the left. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ibig sabihin, negative 5, saan siya tumapat? 5. So, fa negative 5, is the integer that is six that is six units to the left of one. Another example. How about if we have eleven over five? Where does eleven over five located in a number line? So, paano natin ma-identify yun? Kung mapapansin nyo, improper fraction siya. So, 11 divided by 5 in decimals, we will get 2.2. .2. So, dahil positive siya, dito tayo titingin sa positive side. So, 2.2. .2. Ibig sabihin, nasa gitna lang siya or nasa banda lang siya dito ng 2, hindi siya lalampas sa 3. Okay? So, to assume... Ayan yung point natin, that is 2.2, .2, where 11 over 5 lies. Integers are used to represent quantities with opposite characteristics, such as positive and negative. So, positive, negative. Deposit, the opposite of deposit is to withdraw. Opposite. The opposite of up is down, right is left, north, and south. So, those are opposite. Next. Now, plot the numbers in the given number line. So, dapat alam natin mag-plot ng points sa number line. So, before we plot the points, kung mapapansin nyo, tingnan nyo muna yung ating mga given. Meron tayong fraction at meron tayong radical. So, convert muna natin yung ating fractions into decimal para mas madali. <laughs> so, 1 half is the same as negative 0 0.5. Yung negative 1 over 2 is the same as negative 0 0.5. And then yung 6 over 5 is the same as 1.2. We divide 6 by 5, so we will get 1.2. And then square root of 49, 49 is a perfect square. So the square root is 7. And then, uh, copy na lang yung iba. So let's start uh, plotting the points. Negative 5. So, syempre, dito siya. 
Ayan, negative 5. And then, next is negative 1 half. So, negative 1 half is negative 0 0.5. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya lalampas sa, fa, sa 1. Ayan. And then, we have negative 3. Next is positive 9. And then, 6 over 5 is 1.2. Ibig sabihin, lampas siya ng 1, pero hindi siya uh, lalampas kay 2. So, andyan lang siya katabi ni 1. So, 1.2 is equal to 6 point over 5. And then, we have the square root of 49, which is 7. And then, 4.75. So, 4.75, ibig sabihin, lampas siya kay 4, pero hindi siya lalampas kay 5. So, between 4 and 5, so 4.75, nandyan siya, assume, Ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, dahil na-plot na natin yung points, kung mapapansin nyo yung ating integers or real numbers dito, ay na-arrange na rin natin from least to greatest, smallest to largest. So, yan yun. So, if, we are, if you are asked to arrange in increasing order, so... That is equal to negative 5, negative 3, 1, negative 1 half, 6 over 5, 4.75, square root of 49, and 9. So, this is increasing order. Pag sinabi naman decreasing order, magsisimula ka lang dito. 9, square root of 49, ayan. To the, uh, from right to left. Increasing left to right. So, ganun lang tayo mag-arrange ng integers. Thank you.